Isn't that the most intriguing question ever, how to be happy? And I find it intriguing because to my mind, it's a very incorrect question. Why do we ask how to be happy? You see, we lead a life where we are actually unhappy, right? We go to work in a way, in a certain way, we'll spend eight, 10 hours over earning a livelihood. We, we do that in a very mechanical way and realize that doesn't bring happiness or any sustained form of it. So we go around building things. And we go around buying things, acquiring property, acquiring cars, getting better phones, spending time on that phone. And we still realize that even that doesn't bring in happiness. It has its own pressures with it. We go around conforming to the ways of the society, get married, fall in love, get kids, get more kids. Kids bring joy, but it doesn't still lead to any sense of fulfillment that life has become suddenly transformed or happiness. And we are constantly then confronted with the question that I've tried everything that this goddamn world told me that should bring me happiness, but where is it? And then I ask this question, how to be happy? And in this question, how to be happy, I'm looking for certain tips, tools or mantras or there is something that I know that you don't know or some guru knows that you don't know or some religion knows that you don't know. And in this whole quest to search for happiness, we even get lost and ill-treated and misused by the so-called professionals and they gave us a methodology, a root plan, a trip, a trick. We start following that and I've seen people follow that for years and years thinking they have achieved happiness, but they sit in one place every single day, do nothing with their lives, and even that isn't really truly happiness. Now, I'm saying that we are asking an incorrect question because what are we escaping from? The reality is that no matter what I'm doing in my life or whatever the world is doing in their lives has led us to a path of wars, destruction, violence, conflict, anger, sadness, humiliation, poverty, obesity, there are all these problems out there and in me and that's why there is only a temporary sense of pleasure and happiness but there's no permanent sense of happiness because these problems are within me. Internally, we are all miserable, we are alone, we get frustrated, we are miserable, we suffer, we are sad, we sorrow no matter what kind of relationships that we have, we convert them into some form of sorrow or suffering. So internally, the reality is that there is sorrow, suffering and misery all around and the escape that I want from it is an answer to the question, how to be happy. You see, that's an opposite way of thinking. The reality is sadness and I want an escape from that sadness and I'm asking how to be happy. Why can't I understand my sadness? And wouldn't that be an automatic way to end the sadness and then go beyond it, which might be happiness, joy or maybe something else that we may discover? We have an inability to understand this sadness, to understand this sorrow, to understand this misery and we are so uncomfortable in staying with it and looking within and getting to the root of this that we very quickly find escape routes to happiness. And we get misled, we get misled towards attachments and things, we get misled towards philosophies and organized belief systems, we get misled by people who claim to know where God is and I don't know, we get misled in all sorts of ways and at the end of the day, we come back to where we were, back to the same starting point of sadness and sorrow because we never dealt with it in the first place. So let's take a pause, let's take a pause and go through this. The reality of right now, happiness is not a reality. I don't even know what it is, I don't know where it is, but I want to find it as if it's somewhere lying out there and there will be some magical touch and the world will transform. It is not going to happen. What is real is that we are miserable, frustrated, anger, fear, sadness, sadness, sorrow, all of this is our reality, it's in us. Now can I get to this reality, stay with it? and go through it. And maybe once I go through it and I understand it, and once I'm able to in totality understand the nature of my sorrow, my sadness, my suffering, my frustration, my misery, that understanding itself may mean that I've had to go through it fully, stay with it, go through it fully, allow for it to have its end. And at the end of it, when I've understood that entire thing, maybe in that process, I will discover or understand what happiness really is or isn't or is it a delusion or is it a reality but the only way to really find out that answer will be to go through this i don't want to guide you to a process where we block this entire thing because this is reality so why block it let's go through it and if you go through it 
it doesn't mean that you have to cry your way through it. Go through it means to just stay with it for what's real. And at the, at the end of this experience of going through it, I promise you the question will not be there in your mind as to what is happiness.